In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a paywall in WordPress using ProfilePress. Now, the first thing you will need is a membership plan. And if you want to set it up, you need to go to ProfilePress on the left hand side. Just hover and click on membership plans. OK, now, as we can see, I already have some plans set up. I have this one called bronze content subscription to add a new one. Click on add new plan. And here you'll need to give your plan a name. For example, I'll call this one premium content. If you want, you can add a description and a purchase note, but I'll skip this. I'll also keep this option as default to create a new user role for this membership plan. Now we need to set the price. I'll set this as $1.99. Next, we want to keep our billing frequency set to monthly, and we also want to renew our subscription indefinitely. We don't need a sign up fee and we'll also keep free trial as disabled. Now we'll also go ahead and skip downloads and integrations and click on save plan over on the right at the top of the page. Now, after saving your plan, copy this checkout URL and just paste it somewhere you can find it later. I'm using notes.io. Now, the next thing you'll need to do is set up payments. So on the left hand side, click on settings under profile press, that is, and click on the payments tab. Now, here you'll see your currency and checkout settings. And if you go to the payment methods tab, you'll have access to the settings for your favorite payment processor. And I've also left links in the description to videos that show you how to set up payments in profile press. So in my case, I'm using Stripe as my default payment processor. If you want, you can use Stripe, PayPal, Molly or Razorpay. Now let's go to content protection. And on this page, we'll click on add protection rule. Now, before we set this up, I just want to show you what a user who is logged out would see. So if they go to a blog post, they would be able to read the entire article. So first, I'll show you how to set up a hard paywall, which basically hides all of your posts behind a paywall. So we'll go back to our settings and we'll call this rule hard paywall and we'll select a condition of all posts. Next, we'll choose who we want to access the content that will be logged in users. Then we'll need to choose a membership plan. Let's choose the one that we just created, which is premium content. And then we'll choose all of the user roles that we want to access our content. We'll keep this option as default and we'll have unauthorized users see a post excerpt and a global restricted access message. We can also click on this link to customize our message. So I'll just go to my notes and copy one that I already prepared and I'll go back and paste it in this field. And I'll also link the checkout page to the subscribe button. So I'll copy the link and I'll highlight subscribe. I'll click on this icon and I'll paste the link here. Let's also click on save changes. All right. So once we're done, we can go ahead and close this tab. Let's move down to restricted access message style and we'll choose blur and fade effect. So now we are done. We'll scroll up and click on save rule. OK, now let's go back to our blog post and we'll just refresh this page to see what happens. So here we have the post excerpt with the custom message. We have our subscribe link and that takes us to our checkout page. So at this point, a customer would need to enter their account and payment information in order to access the content. I'll just go ahead and enter some fake information right now just to show you. I'll click on subscribe once I'm done. And here we have our order confirmation page. All right. So now that we have registered an account, I'll just go ahead and log into the website to see what happens if we view the same post. All right. So we have successfully logged in. Let's go to our home page. Now from there, I'll click on blog and we'll just choose a random post. Let's use this one. All right. So as you can see, we have full access to this post and let's see what happens if we log out and then view it. Let's go back to the blog. We'll choose the same post. So we no longer have access to the entire post. All right. So that was a hard paywall. And now I'll show you how to set up a soft paywall, which basically makes a selection of posts paid while keeping the others free. So here we have all of our posts and we'll choose one and click on edit. Now, once we're in the editor on the right hand side, we'll go to categories. Now we need to create a special category for this post. For this example, we'll call it premium. Let's click on add category. All right. So our post is now assigned to this premium category. Now we'll click on update and I'll go back and use quick edit to apply this category to another post. All right. Now let's go back to profile press. Then we'll go to content protection. And on this page, we'll deactivate this hard paywall. And now we're going to create a protection rule for our soft paywall. All right. So we'll go ahead and name it. And this time we want it to protect posts with categories. So that will create a new menu on the right hand side. And from here, we can go ahead and choose premium. 
Alright, now who can access the content? Logged in users. Now let's choose the membership plan and this time we can use bronze content subscription. Alright, now let's choose the roles that can access the content. So we're basically repeating the same steps that we took earlier. We can also go ahead and customize our message. So let's edit this subscription link. We'll just click on this pencil and we'll go back to our membership plans in profile press. Now we'll find our bronze content subscription. We'll copy the link and we'll paste it in this field to replace the previous one. Let's save our changes and we'll also close this tab. All right, so since everything is all set up, we can go ahead and save our rule. All right, now let's switch back to incognito. And if we go to the blog page by clicking on blog, we'll see that two of our articles are premium. Now, if we open the first one, we'll see that it is restricted, but we don't have the blur. I'll just quickly go back to our settings page to turn it on. The option should be the last one. I'll select blur and fade effect and save rule. All right, now if we go back to our blog post and refresh this page, we should see this effect. Now, if we go to another post that is not in the premium category, we'll see that it's not restricted. So that was an example of a soft paywall. All right, so finally, I can show you guys how to cover the setup process for a metered paywall. So the first thing we need to do is enable the add-ons. So let's go to profile press, then add-ons. Now let's find metered paywall and enable it. So once that's done, we can go to content protection on the left. And in order to use a metered paywall, you'd first need to set up a hard paywall. So since we already have one active, we can proceed with our setup. So let's go to the metered paywall tab. So basically a metered paywall gives your visitors access to all of your articles. However, they will have a limited number of views. All right, so let's view a quick example. So we're going to reset the limitations on our restrictions after about 12 hours. Now let's actually go ahead and add the restrictions. So we're going to keep the post type as posts. We're targeting all taxonomies and let's say we want to give our users two free views. We'll just type in two. And by the way, you're not limited to one restriction. You can always add as many as you need to. Now, if you want, you can set a total number of views for all of your restrictions in this field. And you can enable an IP blocker if you want to stop readers from bypassing paywalls. And also, if an IP address gets blocked, you'll be able to see it in this field right here. So we'll save our changes and we'll move down to the next section. So here we have a countdown slide box, which we can enable. And we can also set a message, but I'll keep it as default. And right below this, we have our button text. I'll keep this one as well. Now for the button link, I'm going to use the checkout page for our subscription plan. And the final option is login text, which can also be edited. Now let's save our changes to go ahead and test this out. All right. So once we have saved our changes, we can open a post in a new incognito window. Now, when we scroll down, we'll see that we have one post remaining. So I'm just going to go back to the archive to open another post. Let's use this one. And if we scroll down, we'll see that we now have zero posts remaining. And this means that the next post we open should be restricted. We'll scroll down and here it is. It's restricted. So basically a user can either subscribe or just wait for the 12 hour reset period. Now, if we go back to our metered paywall settings and refresh the page, we'll see our IP address that got blocked. All right. So now you should know how to set up a paywall in WordPress using profile press. Thanks for watching and see you next time.